Kia ora tato. Welcome along to another Wananga session. Still on the road. I've been climbing for 75 kilometres today. So I've been following uh, Awa. I'm close down by the sea, right up to its source. I'm um, up on the top of one of the Maunga uh, 75k inland from Motueka. I got to thinking, uh, how do I know how hard I'm working? How do I know that I'm climbing? How do I know all those things? So I started thinking about assessment. A couple of things came to mind about Māori processes and how we know. And I got to thinking about Tamate Uira. One of the processes uh, that I've discussed before on YouTube about the three personality traits of Tama and his uh, wife Hinetuira and how they have three different styles of moving around one is within the confines of two kopua or the two of clouds one is between the children of two kopua which is jumping from cloud to cloud the other one is from to Kapua, to Papa to Anuku, which is from cloud to sky, cloud to uh, earth rather. And why these are interesting is that when he's or she's moving internally within the cloud, that's self assessment. And he's jumping from cloud to cloud, it's peer assessment. He's jumping from cloud to Papa to Anuku, that's teacher assessment. But it's within the confines or understandings for marmatanga of being Māori. So one of the other things we look for when we assess something is can we repeat it and does it assess or evaluate the things that we said it was going to? That's a harder job. I think we can with uh, looking at Tama Te Uira and Hine Te Uira's movement. I think probably where non-Māori process falls over when it comes to assessing Māori process is that it loses its validity and that we may be able to repeat it but it's using a model that's not ours which means it loses its validity and has no place in working with things Māori now one of the other, other systems I thought about was the ihi wihi wana approach in which we have one individual that's engaging with the process another one that's watching and commenting and encouraging that individual and a third one that's reporting on the engagement between those first two so this has been happening with the facebook site i'm out here riding my bike i've got heaps of mates that ride bikes and that i've worked with in the past that are all motivating me engaging with me through Facebook talking about how much they like or dislike some of the things that are going on we have a third group that don't ride bikes that don't uh, engage in some of the things that me and my mates do but pass comment on how my mates and I get along and can discuss these ideas if you like this is the ihi wehi wana approach to watching what's going on with this bike ride to the South Island. Quite different ways of looking at it, but frees us up to use any model that we want, other than just Mōrāko, Kapahaka, uh, Wakama. That we can use this philosophy with any type of activity that we choose to. So, it frees us up to trial and test lots of mode. Uh, mediums and if you like me riding a mountain bike isn't about the mountain bike it's not even about the physical activity it's about the 75k ride that I've had today that's allowed me to engage with Monga through the medium of mountain bikes that's enough of that Golda